Hi, everyone. I'm Bill Conrad for CS56, CS156. Uh, and uh, Mara, Scott, and the staff are going to illustrate some debugging skills here. Mara is running the to do application that is the basis of, I believe, JPA03. Uh, and she has encountered this error uh, on the to do's page. Uh, everything else is working properly, we think, but the to do's page shows this error. And um, Scott has some suggestions for how to debug this. So, uh, Mara, can you just uh, demonstrate the error again? And then we'll uh, throw it to Scott for a suggestion of how to debug. All right. So, uh, this here is the error page. Um, if I go to profile, it works fine. And I can log out and log back in. And everything there seems to work. Um, profile is still there, but to do's is stuck in an error. Yeah. So, Mara, first thing, can we go to the console really quickly that is running your Spring Boot application? Yeah. This is what I've been seeing here so far. So, uh, reading out the error, it seems to say the illegal argument exception request header is too large. So uh, now the next thing I want to see actually is what is being sent in the request header. So if we could go back to the Firefox tab. All right. And can we right click and go inspect or however you like to uh, open your debugger tools and can we go to the network tab specifically? All right. So when it's, yeah, when it makes that request, if you could make that a little bit larger, a little bit taller, uh, your dev console. Yeah. Perfect. Um, can we click on one of those uh, requests? So right there, um, if we slide out that right side a little bit and just scroll down. So we see that there's a lot of information here. And if we keep scrolling, uh, the cookie looks particularly long. Mm -hmm. Um, if we keep scrolling down, or is that everything? Uh, that's everything. That's everything. So I have a I have a suggestion, which is um, if it's complaining about the request header being too long, then we need to shorten it. And one of the easiest ways to shorten it in this case, because the cookie is so long, is that we would go ahead and clear your cookies. All right. Um, so in order to do that, uh, I believe we want to go to memory, right. which is one of the tabs. Uh, not memory, maybe application then or storage, probably storage then. Yes. So there's right there, there's cookies, right? So if you go and right click on the highlighted HTTP localhost, uh, you should be able to delete all session cookies. Um, did that work? Maybe just delete all. There we go. So now if we were to refresh the application, we now see that it is actually able to make the request. So likely that was uh, a consequence of cookies building up over different visits to different, uh, uh, to potentially even the same application over and over and over again. Um, why those cookies are building up is probably uh, an issue to look at at another time, but hopefully that gets you unblocked. All right, thank you. Great, and maybe you, uh, one of the things we might wanna do is to uh, that error message that came up um, where it says an error occurred, we might want to just add to that error message, um, please try clearing your cookies uh, and try this again or something like that. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe that maybe that's a good idea. Maybe not. But something we could we could consider. Um, yeah. All right. But uh, hopefully the, this video uh, illustrated uh, the use of the developer tools. And uh, one of the things that you can check uh, if you get that particular error. So uh, thank you, Mara, and thank you, Scott. And we'll uh, end the recording here.